Here's a fresh project. I'm going to start off with oh, Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015 where we're going to jump the cliff. And we'll start the new project and we're going to call it uh, Untitled because I'm sitting in the dark here. And I'm going to put it in this drive here and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to put it right there and select that folder. I'm going to say my Mercury GPU is on and there. So we're going to go to the media browser and look in this drive. Let's open it up and we're going to go. It's a brand new thing. I just loaded the stuff. It's pretty small. So, that's the wrong one. This is it here. They're both new. Brand new. So, we're going to take the contents of this Cinema DNG, import that, this Cinema DNG, import that, and something disappeared there. Okay. Into this folder here. That's upside down, but that's fine. Import that. And we're going to import that. And we're going to import that. And import that. And I forgot to turn on one cam, so we missed that. Here's an audio from a Zoom H2N. And this is a. Uh, something else. So I start off with that audio, and I control, click, and I select everything. And I right click, and create multi-camera source sequence, and we're going to call it whatever it is. I'm sitting in the dark, and I'm going to choose audio, my audio track channel 1, sequence preset is automatic. Offset by zero, move source clips to process clip bins. That's usually checked. I uncheck it. Audio uh, camera one, audio channel presets automatic, and I uh, default is uh, something, but I use use clip names. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to synchronize by audio, and my track channel is one. And sequence settings is camera one, which probably picks the sequence settings up from this pocket camera, Cinema DNG. And I click OK. This is what you've been wanting to see. It processes all the stuff, and it's pretty simple. Could not synchronize one or more clips. I say OK. Now, over here is the multi-camera source sequence and I'm going to open it in the timeline. There it is there. That's me. Was me. That's me. Um, yep. So then I take that one and open in the timeline. Whoops. Sorry. I take that one and I create a new sequence from a clip and I select and enable Multicam, it already is, and then I come up to my program monitor and choose multi camera and come over here to where all the cameras are. Um, hmm. Where are they? There they are, it's loaded in. This one here, Cinnamon DNG, it'll take a while. Actually, yeah. So we get one, two, three, four, five. And I forgot to turn that one on. Um, we're just waiting for the Cinema DNG there. I was waiting for it. And what I should do is turn that one upside down in the master clip settings. But, anyways, that is. 
and I'll get slow response. I gotta fight this stuff. So, um, playback resolution quarter, pause resolution quarter. Yeah. So, they're just updated. Come over here, come over here. There it is. Everybody knows the big weight for the stuff. So, if I get back into this one, and let's get rid of my face there. Come over to Cinema DNG. That's, yeah, there we're waiting for Cinema DNG to load in. And that's it. Uh, which camera did not load? Um, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. And my audio. So the audio lined up. That's the uh, Zoom H2N. Uh, one of these didn't. So I can figure that out and put it in myself. But there you go. Pretty, pretty cool.